In this video, I'll be showing you some tips and tricks you can use in Google to find scholarly information and other types of resources for college-level research projects. First, I'm going to go over different types of websites. There are four main website types that you'll regularly encounter. First is .com, which is for commercial websites. Second is .org for nonprofit organizations. Third is .gov. These are United States government websites. And fourth is .edu. These are educational institutions, mostly colleges or universities. While understanding and identifying the type of website is useful for evaluating a resource it is not the only tool you should be using. All four of these types of websites can offer credible and valuable information. All four of these types of websites can also offer misinformation or information that is not appropriate for a college-level research paper. Let's look at some examples of different website types. Look at the web address for babysignlanguage.com. That .com tells you the website is a commercial site. If you look around the site, we can see that they are selling products. While I would not recommend using this website as an information source, there are other .com websites that would be appropriate for a college research project. For example, news websites like the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal. These are also .com websites. Anyone can create and own a .com website. Be especially aware of the purpose of a .com website. .org sites are nonprofit organizations. For example, ASHA.org. These sites can be useful when you're looking for information, but be mindful of things like bias. A nonprofit organization has its own agenda that can influence what type of information they share. .edu sites are education websites for colleges, universities, and other educational institutions, like ucdavis.edu. These can be excellent sources of academic information, but be careful. Student papers and projects are also often housed on college and university websites. Just because you're using a .edu site doesn't mean that the information is written by an academic researcher or professor. Be aware of the author when looking at a .edu site. .gov sites are United States government websites. Sites like cdc.gov. Government websites are especially good for statistical information, and some government websites like PubMed.gov and ERIC.gov are public databases for academic research. Now that you know some of the different types of websites, how can you search for only specific types of websites? To search for a specific website type in Google, type in your search terms, then type site, colon, and the domain that you want to search in. So .edu, .gov, .org, whatever you like. Now, all your results will be from these specific types of websites. You can also use this trick to search within a specific website. This is especially useful for searching within news websites such as the New York Times. If we type in infant sign language site colon nytimes.com we will get results for articles just from the New York Times. Speaking of news articles, Google also has some specialty search engines that can help you find specific types of resources. If you don't want to search within a specific publication, Google News is a useful search engine to find recent news articles. There are a number of ways to get to Google News, but one of the simplest is to just type in news.google.com into your browser's search bar. Type in your search term and you can get results from national news sources and regional news outlets. If you click on the arrow in the search bar, it gives you advanced search options. This also allows you to search within a specific publication. 
note that you do need to type in the web address, not just the name of the publication. You can also use this to search within a specific time period, up to one year. Notice now that our search box has the site colon search modifier. One of the most useful specialty search engines is Google Scholar. You can use Google Scholar to find academic books and articles. To access Google Scholar, go to scholar.google.com. Type your keywords into the search box. On the left-hand menu under Articles, you can also limit your results by date. If there is a PDF or HTML link, then the article is available in full text for free. If there isn't a link, like with this one, that means the article is not available for free. One way to expand the available full text results in Google Scholar is to link your Google Scholar account with the Kenyatta Library. To do this, click on the three horizontal bars next to the Google Scholar logo. Scroll down to Settings. Then under the Settings menu, select Library Links. Do a search for Kenyatta College. Select Kenyatta College Library, view it at Kenyatta Library. Click the Save button. Now you'll see links to view it at Kenyatta Library if it's an article that you can get access to for free from Kenyatta Library. Let's review. There are four main website addresses you regularly encounter. .com for commercial, .org for nonprofit organizations, .gov for United States government websites, and .edu for education institutions, mostly colleges or universities. No matter what type of website you use, you want to evaluate the information you find on it. You can search for specific websites and within specific websites using site colon. Google News is useful for finding recent news articles. Google Scholar is useful for finding academic articles. Link Google Scholar to your college library to access even more articles.